Oh, that's good. Pumpkin sauce, one pot pumpkin pasta. What's up guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna be making a super easy one pot pasta. It's a pumpkin pasta. So you're gonna need eight ounces of pasta of your choice. So I chose for fall pasta, eight ounces of this. I'm gonna use half of the bag, pumpkin puree. Pure pumpkin puree. You don't want the pumpkin pie mix, you want the pumpkin puree. So I will have the recipe in the description box below, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with prepping the ingredients. So I already prepped the seasonings and everything, but I did not prep the pumpkin puree, so I'm gonna do that with you guys really quick. Let me show you guys the process here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. We need three fourth cups. All right, three fourth cups of pumpkin puree. Had and prep this with you guys. Okay, so that's one, two, three. Three fourth cups, pumpkin puree. I already minced up two shallots here, okay? And then I minced up a lot of garlic. <laughs> I'm not sure how many cloves, probably five garlic cloves. I also have sage, one sprig of sage, I have some rosemary, salt, and pepper to taste. Oh, and then I need to add 1 4th teaspoon of nutmeg. 1 4th teaspoon of nutmeg. Smells good, wow. Nutmeg smells really good. You're gonna need one tablespoon of lemon juice, so I have that already. And four cups of broth. I chose low sodium chicken broth, but you can use vegetable broth if you want, or whatever broth you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these aside and then we can go ahead and get started cooking our pasta. Okay guys, so this is gonna be super easy. I just added a pot, a medium high heat, drizzled some olive oil in the pan, and then once that oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna add the garlic and the shallots. And we're gonna let that cook with the seasonings as well. And then once that's cooked, we can go ahead and add the um, pumpkin, all the remaining ingredients as well. Okay guys, so the oil is nice and hot, so let's go ahead and add the garlic and the shallots with the seasonings as well. Okay guys, the pan is nice and hot. Let's go ahead and add our shallots. And all the shallots, okay. Our garlic. And then our seasonings here. Salt, pepper, rosemary, sage, and um, nutmeg. Stir this around. I'm gonna cook this until they're nice and tender. So it's at a medium heat right now. Okay guys, I'm just gonna let that cook for a few minutes until the shallots are nice and tender. So we're gonna need eight ounces of pasta. So I'm just gonna open this up and portion out the eight ounces. So here's the Farfalle, pasta, little bow ties. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pour half of the bag. That's about half. Here's our pasta. Okay guys, let's go ahead and add three tablespoons of butter. Turn this down. Melt for just a little bit, and then we can add the remaining ingredients our pumpkin puree. I'm gonna get a spatula here. Make sure to get all of it. Alright. Perfect. Go ahead and mix that around. Just like so. Turn it back up to medium heat. Now I'm gonna add four cups of broth. Ooh, this just came off. <laughs> it broke. Gotta get a knife and open this up. There we go. So I'm just gonna add this entire carton of broth. I underestimated my strength. <laughs> add the pasta, bow tie pasta. We're gonna top off our pasta with lemon juice at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. All right, 
and we're gonna let this come to a nice boil. Okay guys, so I just have that on a super high heat and we're gonna let that come to a nice boil. And then once it's boiled, we're gonna cover it, turn it down to a simmer. Okay guys, as you can see, it's at a boil. So I'm just going to cover it with a lid. And then I'm going to turn this down. Guys, it's been a few minutes in and I turned the heat on a really high heat. So that way, um, once the pasta cooks, the sauce is gonna be nice and thick. So yeah, you can go ahead and turn your heat really high and um, you don't have to cover it with the lid anymore. So let's just keep it on a really high heat until everything is cooked and the sauce is thick. Let's just go ahead and stir it up and make sure nothing's sticking to the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more salt as it's cooking. A little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna add some pepper, black pepper. I still have it on a really high heat. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of lemon juice. our one pot pumpkin pasta. Delicious pumpkin sauce. One pot pumpkin pasta. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up. I'm gonna turn off the heat and then eat this with you guys. Okay guys, so here is our pumpkin pasta. Super delicious pumpkin pasta with some sage on top for decoration, <laughs> just for garnish. Not gonna eat that. Yeah, here's the bow tie pumpkin pasta. Yum, smells like fall, <laughs> super hot. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it literally tastes like fall. <laughs> Super creamy. And yeah, I love the taste of pumpkin, so this is so good. And you get that garlic and um, shallots. Creamy. Pumpkin-y. Mm. Wow. This is so delicious. It really is. I've made a squash pasta before, but this is even better. I love pumpkin. Yum. Mmm. That rosemary, really good. Really good. Yeah, this is definitely one of my new favorite pastas. I didn't know what to expect because I've never had pumpkin pasta before. But it's really good. Really creamy. <laughs> Have this prime drink, hydration drink. 
X, Prime X. I haven't had this flavor. I've had pretty much every other flavor. So I was wondering about this one. Go ahead and try it with you guys. Cheers. Mm. It's really good. It reminds me of the ice pop flavor, the red, white, and blue one. Very similar flavor. It's good. <laughs> really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Overheated. I took off the uh, sage sprig. Just have about half left. So, <laughs> this is really good. Perfect dinner. Mm. Flavorful. Alright guys, that was delicious, and I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
possibly my last day.